everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is porcelain and this is porcelain's budget so in today's video i'm going to be going over my 2024 goals uh, and also just chit-chatting with you guys to let you know an update on me and why I was missing. So if you're interested in today's video, then just stay tuned. Hi everyone. I know, I know, I know I've been missing. I missed you guys. I missed this community. Um, I've been MIA for a long, long, long time and honey, it's back for me to get back on my budget. So in today's video, you know, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys up on what's been happening, life update, and then also going over my 2024 goals. So again, let's go ahead and get started. But in today's video, baby, we got water because we have to stay hydrated. We have to stay hydrated. So let me go ahead and get started. Let me, let me get the, let me get the, let me get the drama out the way. So I've been MIA from YouTube um, almost, I think, about nine months, if I'm not mistaken, uh, eight or nine months. And um, basically, I went through a, a rough patch in my journey um, to getting out of debt and just creating a better life for me and my girls. If you're new here, hi, my name is Porcelain. I am a single mom of twin girls. And I'm just on this journey to get my ish together and just be able to create a better life for me and my girls. Um, and in the beginning of my journey, you know, it was me figuring out my debt, owning up to my, my mistakes that I made when I was very young and naive and just downright just, you know, didn't have any financial literacy at all and just messing up myself um, credit wise, debt wise, all that. Right. So in 2023 or in 2022, up until when I had stopped, um, I was doing pretty good. And, you know, and basically when you're doing pretty good and you're you're you know, you're just expressing yourself like, oh, my God, I found this great way on how to budget out my money, save my money. A lot of people look at look into it like, oh, she's doing well. So in my hiccup that I had in my journey was that um, me being the person that I am, and I have talked about this pre in previous of my videos, that I am a person that has a hard time saying no. Basically, long story short, something came up where people were in need that I really truly, I, I care about, and they asked for help from me. Because I was doing the budget and I had the money set aside, certain things like that, I was able to assist. But how to not sugarcoat this, I would loan money out um, to the point where it affected me when I came up on my hard times and I didn't have anywhere to try to pull this money from. And, um, and with the people that I loaned the money to, they were also going through a very tough times, so it so they weren't able to pay me back the money that I loaned out. Um, and I put things on my credit to assist because they stated that they were going to be able to pay the bill, things like that. Long story short, they're not able to because um, they're on hard times. So I'm stuck with debt that is something that I did for people that I cared about and then also, you know, people owing me money. And I felt like I failed you guys. Um, and I was really down on myself and I didn't want to come on camera um, acting like everything was all fine and dandy because that wasn't in my spirit, you know what I mean? And I overexerted myself by helping somebody that had put me in a financial situation. So a lot of the goals that I had from last year, I was not able to accomplish and I just was like, I, I can't do it. Like, I just can't like me trying to get on here and explain it, you know, and the internet can be very vicious. Like we're all human. We're all going to make mistakes. Right. And this is one of the mistakes that I made, but this is very much of a learning lesson for me. Um, and that's why I was going, you guys. So let's go ahead and just get right into my goals for 2024 and how I'm going to get myself out of this mess. I don't know, you guys, it, it's just something that happened and it's a lesson learned, you know. So let's go ahead and get started into my 2024 goals. All right. So here is my 2024 goal list. Now, I condensed this list from last year because last year I was trying to be an overachiever and uh -uh. so 
I just wanted to keep it simple and we're just gonna start with the first. So the first thing is that I want to go ahead and pay off my Apple and Discover card. Yes, I put myself back in credit card debt because again, when I needed the assistance, when I wasn't doing so well or hours got cut back and things like that, I had nowhere to fall back on because I had already loaned out whatever my cushions was, thinking that I was going to get it back and I didn't. So I had to pull, I had to use my credit cards. So those are the two things that I need to go definitely go ahead and pay down. Now, the second financial goal is that I want to go ahead and establish financial boundaries. And this is going to the situation that I was in, that I currently am in. And that is setting fir firm financial boundaries. A no is a no. I have to get thicker skin, feeling like if I say no, then I'm hurting somebody. I think that's my issue. I told you guys that I'm a people pleaser. I've been trying to work on that since 2023. And me being that way, has put me in a situation that I just, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna have to be firm and, and as they say now, stand on business and the, the answer will be no. So establishing financial boundaries is one thing that I'm gonna be working on in 2024. Um, I do wanna go ahead and increase my credit score to 725. You guys, you will be proud though. My credit score is 703, FICO, eight. Not three, eight, okay? So, um, that's my middle number. So that's the number that they go off when they try to, you know, if you try to apply for loans and credit cards and all that other kind of stuff, it's my middle score and that's what it is. And I'm proud of that. I want to get it to 725. So we're going to be working on that this year. Um, I want to go ahead and increase my income. Now, even though I was going through this trial and tribulations and I was asking God, like, you know, did I do the wrong thing? Like, you know, me doing this i put myself in a situation where i was feared that i was going to lose my like lose my house because i would it, it was just so much you guys so long behold i get an opportunity to get a promotion at work and you guys i increased my income at work because i got a promotion at the end of the year so but i want to increase it some more <laughs> i want to increase it some more everybody knows that you know, the economy is like everything, inflation is too high. Yeah, but I want to do more. So that is that. So the next financial goal that I have is to save an emergency, uh, emergency savings of 2K this year. <clears throat> I'm not going to go crazy. So 2K is my, I think it's, it's a good amount. So for lifestyle goals, I do want to go ahead and work out three to four times a week. I think this is realistic. I work from home, so I should be able to go ahead and do that. Eating in a calorie deficit is something that I am working on. I'm going to download my fitness pal again, my fitness pal again, so I can be able to monitor what I eat. Because I am getting older, I, I want to be here for a long time. Not a short time, but a long time, you know? The next thing I want to do is I want to get out more. Me working from home and just being a single mother, I don't have the opportunities to just like be myself and kind of just figure out who I am. And I don't go nowhere. I'm very much an introvert and I'm trying to step outside of the box with that. Like going to the grocery store, I don't even go to the grocery store no more. I order my food and get it delivered. That's how bad I am an introvert at this point. <laughs> um, so getting out more is one of the things that I want to do. My date nights again, because I've been stuck. So the next lifestyle um, goal I want to do is stop reacting off of emotions. I am an emotional creature by nature. I am a cancer and I have to learn how to breathe and then come back if it bothers me to a point. Um, that's another thing that I'm working on. The next thing I want to work on is that I want to sign up for Toastmasters. I have a fair public speaking. I have gone over this since last year. And this year I want to learn how to communicate effectively. Like I want to be able to, with this new position that I have, I am on a lot of meetings where I have to speak. You know, and I don't want, you know, I, I got a fear of it. Sometimes I trip up, I, I stutter and mm -mm, it's just not good. So I need to definitely get myself together on this one. My last and final section is going to be YouTube. I have been missing. I missed you guys. Like I want to get back onto this. Yes, yes, yes. I did have my hiccups. I had my hard times and I kind of like ghosted you guys and I feel so bad about that. But you know what? 
like I said, the internet can be very cruel and me coming onto the internet and telling my story and the reason why my whole goals and things like that from last year has gone to shit. Sorry, excuse my French. I didn't want anybody to kick me while I'm already down. Like I was already sensitive at that point. Like my emotions was all over the place and I just couldn't handle like, you know, people being negative. If you want to give, you know, your advice, give your advice to help not to just not to hurt anybody or make them feel lower than they already are. Like we all make silly mistakes or some mistakes we make that we feel like it wasn't a mistake. But at the end of the day, we figured out it really was. It is what it is. It's a life lesson. As long as you don't do it twice, then I feel like it's OK. You know, whatever. So with YouTube, I want to go ahead and post consistently um going forward maybe twice a week or once a week i'm not too sure we're going to figure that out and i do want to grow my supporter my family you know you guys were my sis you still are my sis my friends friend you know so i want to go ahead and grow my community again this uh this year so those are my goals now going into the binders that I'm going to be using this year. So some of the some of the categories are going to be removed from the binders. So let's go ahead and let's start with my favorite, and that is my twins binder. So this is my twins binder, and <clears throat> everything in this binder is going to stay. So I'm just going to go over it for anybody who's new. These are the categories that I have for my kids. This is everything, all things 20. Okay, this is everything that they need is in this binder. So mommy daughter dates is still going to be a thing. So with mommy daughter dates, that is going to be staying. I still want to take my children out on mommy daughter dates. I'm so sorry. I have this cough because I've been fighting this virus that has this lingering cough and it has been driving me crazy. So my voice has changed. One second. Twins clothes. This is their regular clothes outside of school. That will be staying. Twins hair care and hygiene. Obviously that will be staying. Before and after care. I now only pay for aftercare, so this will still be staying. School clothes, we already know kids need school clothes, so this will be staying. School supplies, you already know, enough said. Teacher appreciation, this will be staying. Summer camp, yes, it will be staying. If, you, like, if you're new, I am a mother who utilizes childcare. Um, so I have to pay for before and after care and summer camp every single year up until they get old enough to where they don't have to go. So it's something we have to save for and it's very expensive. Um, so the twin savings, you know, this is like anything extra. Um, when my paychecks are, uh, when my paycheck posts, I have money that is automatically distributed to my savings, my kids savings, my kids investment account automatically so this envelope is just for extra money on top of what's already being saved outside of my paycheck that i don't touch or see tutoring is actually going to get removed you guys because the kids school now offers free tutoring so we don't have to pay for this um another thing that i am going to be removing this time is speech the kids school offers speech for free so we may not have to use this any longer extracurricular activities will stay the kids want to do gymnastics so i don't know if it's going to be like this year or once i save up because i think gymnastics is pretty expensive but we'll see once i do some price matching if i want to put them in there but i'm gonna wait until i get the full amount and then they can just go ahead and do it maybe this year or next year but that's the goal twin investments again because i have it automatically taken out my check this is just anything extra and then the kids spending money. So that is what the twins binder is going to be looking like. The next one that I'm going to bring up is the holiday binder. Now, um, I do celebrate holidays with my kids. So I try to set aside money. So the first one is going to be Valentine's Day, which is coming up pretty soon. Easter is going to stay. Mother's Day is going to stay. Father's Day is going to stay. Halloween, definitely going to stay because my children love Halloween. Thanksgiving. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to do Thanksgiving this year. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? No, I'm going to keep that because the kids school usually have like a Thanksgiving party. So that would be for that. And then Christmas is going to be for Christmas. Um, as you know, or if you did not know, <clears throat> 
I'm, well, let me go ahead and explain that. I'm not going to be buying toys for my kids like that. I want them to be able to experience Christmas, like just somewhere else. So Christmas is up in the air right now. We don't know what we're gonna do with that. New Year's is if the kids want fireworks. So that is it for the holiday binder. Those are the things that's gonna be sticking in there that I'll be saving for. The next thing is the top priority binder. Now, I am not gonna do three to six months. Um, this is going to be removed until I can be able to get my emergency fund established and also pay off those two credit card debts that I have. So emergency is gonna stay, cushion is gonna stay because I do wanna have a cushion inside of my checking account. Car maintenance is gonna stay because you always gonna need car maintenance. Households for anything that I need, if I wanna decorate, whatever the case may be, that is also gonna stay. And then my general savings is going to stay and this is anything extra because I already have general savings coming out of my paycheck. I don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> so that is it for my top priority binder. And the last but not least, well, it is last and least, I'm sorry, um, is going to be my personal binder. Um, and these are the categories that are gonna stay. Self-care, self-explanatory. Like if I need to get like my eyebrows done, that's what usually what I do, or get some more nail supplies because I do do my own nails. Y'all, these are press-ons. I, well, the, the, um, the French tip is the press-ons, but I added the gems myself. And so I've been doing my own nails and feet. So that's just for that. Date night is if I want to take myself out somewhere. Like if I want to go to the movies or something like that, or just go get me some lunch, you know, when I don't have the kids, that is for my time. Um, my clothes, honestly, you guys, I'm taking this out because I am health journey. So I know my clothes, some of the clothes that I have, I have a lot of clothes that I can't fit currently that by the time when I finish, I will. And then I have a lot of clothes in general. So this is actually coming out. This is not gonna be in there anymore. Hygiene, self-explanatory, you know, shampoo, razor, stuff like that. Debt, debt is gonna be staying. This is a part of me. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and save the money so I can be able to pay off the cards. I'll just put a big deposit on the cards to try to go ahead and pay them off. YouTube, I'm keeping just in case if I need any more supplies, or if I, um, anything that has to do with YouTube, you know? Um, my birthday, you know what, you guys? I'm actually going to take this out because I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything for my birthday. Um, we'll see. If anything, I might take myself to a spa, you know? And then this one is a no kids vacation. This one is probably gonna get removed because yeah. <clears throat> that's out of there okay and the next one is uh we don't have to use this because i have an hsa card so i don't need it for copays and i think i'm missing one out of the kids binder which is their birthday i don't think i have their birthday in here but i know i have a birthday um i have a birthday thing uh envelope so i'm gonna add that in there so the kids birthday will be added into this one as well now i did go ahead and get some new things so i got me some new markers um and pens because i tell you i lose those all the time but i did get a new budgeting book now last year you know i used my little um my little notebook this is the notebook i use last year i made it myself and if you remember i i spilled juice on it but um this year i wanted to go ahead and just get a actual a like budgeting book so this is the one that i got i think this is i cannot remember her name she's on youtube but i'll link it down below and this is the bi-weekly one and so i wanted something simple i didn't want all that craziness um so it has the monthly amounts uh, of your monthly budget so i can be able to plan out my month ahead or my month or what my expenses are going to be and then you have your bi-weekly paycheck budget the cash stuffing i think she does like three or four of these in a month yeah so it's like three or four maybe five and then yeah so this is the budgeting book it's very simple it's the same thing over and over again i don't think there's anything extra in here that is needed no it's just something simple and that's what i need because i didn't want all those extra pieces of paperwork i mean like sheets that other notebooks have i just wanted something simple and straight to the point and this is 
something that I'm going to do. It's very inexpensive, like $12, but this is what I'm going to be using on my journey going forward. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I do apologize if I was all over the place. I just wanted to go ahead and get that out there. I know I'm going to probably be rambling in the next couple of videos because I got to get back into the groove of making videos. And right now I'm just all over the place. I don't have no script. This is me. This is the real me. I don't fake the funk. So you, you see what you get until I can get my mind together, you know, and just process everything because my ADHD kicks in very quickly. Um, but anywho, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please like comment and subscribe share this video to your friends family and co-workers because we all know they nosy and i will see you guys in the next one bye